Welcome to this part three of the tutorial about how to convert FSX scenery to X Plane 10. In this part, we will look at the airport editing with World Editor. I have started up the World Editor, and often I make a new scenery, then open it. and then import the apt.dat file from the converted scenery. Here is the directory, and here is the apt.dat file. And then you have to hold the control button down and choose the airports that you want to import. Okay, here is uh, St. Martin and St. Bart's. And if we look here at St. Martin, something is missing. The taxi traffic lines are missing, uh, which is because the scenery was converted to version 8 of x -Plane. The Here is a tip. If you convert the scenery to uh, x -Plane 10 with FS to x -Plane, then the taxi lines will be there, and then you can import the APT file from, from that scenery. I'll do that here. First, I open my, my empty scenery, open scenery package, and then import the apt file here from the version 10 scenery here that I have converted just to get the apt that file. And then I use full apt that and then choose these three and import. Okay, click import. Okay, now you can see St. Martin here. Zoom selection. Okay, and here you, you can see the taxi traffic lines, which are just uh, the lines where aircraft will taxi. First of all, the surface here has to be transparent. And for the runway, we have to set the right values. First of all, the surface has to be, be transparent, because then the texture from the St. Martin scenery will show through it. Then we have to set centerline lights on and distance signs, sorry, uh, edge lights to high intensity lights and distance signs on. Then we set, set markings to precision US, approach lights to none touchdown zone lights uh, to on, and then set markings 2 to precision US and approach, sorry, uh, touchdown zone lights on. Okay, now we set all light values for the runway. Then we will make the missing puppy light. You click the light fixture and choose puppy left side. All right. And then you click where the puppy should be. And you move the mouse so that it, it will align with the runway. Then you choose Puppy right side.
Here you can see the approach angle. You place the puppy light here. Okay. Then we have to make the taxiway center line lights. And here I choose the line as none because the lines are in the texture from the scenery. And then I choose taxiway center lights, green. So now we make taxiway center line without uh, the line, but only with the lights. As an example, I make a taxiway center line from here. and uh, all the way down to the start of the runway. And as you can see, I just make uh, some points and then I can curve the line with moving the mouse. Okay. Then I click up in the arrow, and here is the line that I made. As you can see, it's only the center line lights, the green center line lights. Then I make a center line here, and down to the runway. And one more here, just as examples. Okay, and um, it takes some time, but uh, I think you can figure it out now. And then you just uh, continue until you have made all the taxiway center lines. All right. Okay, then we will make the taxiway edge line. And for that purpose, I was in on Google Maps and made an overlay of the runway that I will load as a background here. Here, Martin background, JPEG. And here's the background. And then I will fit it to the taxi center lines here. Okay, now the taxiway center lines are matching those from Google Maps. Now choose taxiway edge lights, blue, and again, uh, no, no lines. Okay. Then we make a line here. And just do as you did when you made the center lines, where you place the points and then move the mouse to curve the lines. OK. And then we will remove the lights from, from down here, here. And on the right side, you can click Light Attributes and choose None. And then we will make the edge lights from here and down here. OK, I'm closing it. And then again, click the last point here, there, and edit the line attributes to none.
and here none because then you won't have taxiway away edge lights uh, on the runway and then again and this is this is a process that you just continue until all taxiway edge light and all taxiway center lines are made. So it, it can take some time, but uh, when you're finished, it will look something like this, where I made all the center line lights and all the edge lights. So if you can end up with something that looks like this, then uh, you'll be there. Okay. And then in the end, you have to export the APT file, export apt.dat, and then choose the apt.dat file from the version 8 converted uh, St. Martin scenery and just overwrite it here, flight Tampa Martin and save. Okay, we have reached the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully you succeeded in converting your FSX scenery.